My name's Justin McCorkle. Welcome to my humble abode. I've began training in mixed martial arts in 2003. Um, I started jiu-jitsu after breaking my ankle when I played college basketball. Uh, from jiu-jitsu, I found a somewhat competitive edge and began being told that I was good. So from then, basically, I branched off to Muay Thai a year later um, after training in both for about three years and a little bit of wrestling mixed in. My coaches told me I should fight to test my skills that I'd learned, and I began fighting in 2006. You say you know just who I am, but you can imagine what waits for you across the line. You thought you had me. Um, I'm currently 1-0 and as a professional. Uh, my first fight was May of 2006. I won by Rune Naked Choke in the first round. Um, since then, I've had three scheduled fights. Um, I had a fight in October of 06 in which I contracted a staph infection on the inner part of my left thigh, which required a lot of, it required three surgeries to try and get the core out and um, a couple IVs, so I had to pull out of that fight. I then had a fight for um, April of 2007, and my opponent came in overweight, and so the fight was called. And then I had a fight for July of 2007, in which my opponent showed up for the weigh-in, but then no-showed the fight. So when that happened, I basically just kind of got down and out, and gave up on fighting for a year and didn't really train much. Um, ate a lot of cookies, and gained about 60 pounds, and pretty much didn't do anything for a year. And then um, it was about September-ish. No, I guess it was about August of 2008. Through the support of my wife and the encouragement, um, I started training again. Only I started training at about 270 pounds and had to get obviously down to a good fighting weight of 220. And so now here we are in June um, and I'm getting ready for a fight which will take place June 27th and I'm down to a weight of about 230 pounds. Well, I've never seen so. him train before and before I met him I didn't know what the UFC was, didn't have any like ideas about it and so... Um, my first time to see him train was actually just a couple of nights ago. I haven't made it to any of his training. I've seen pictures and um, video footage like on the internet, but actually seeing him fight, I haven't done that yet. So I'm a little bit nervous because I've actually never seen a live fight before. <laughs> and so being that it's him and it's right before we're having our wedding ceremony, <laughs> I'm I'm concerned about him getting hurt, and um, I don't know. I'm a little nervous about. I'm not gonna lie. I told his mom that I'll probably be crying, and I'll need her to hold me. <laughs> but you know, I've never seen him fight before, so I don't have anything to compare it to. Okay. Ask her what she I think it's great, and I think he's a great fighter. And I love my dad. He's the best ever. He was a he was a good boy. He was all boy, um, as he said. He he got into fights a lot, and you know, fell had had me in the emergency room a whole lot for for injuries. But um, I, as he also said, he has been my best friend forever. Um, he and his sister both were just my whole life. Um, my marriage to his father didn't turn out too well, but definitely having he and his sister have made me, you know, the happiest in my life. Actually, training for a fight, you can almost say, training all the way up to a fight and then having it fall through the day of the fight is almost, I equivalent it to running a marathon and getting to the 25th mile and having them call the race off and say, oh, you know, never mind, don't worry about it, just go home. So um, naturally, like I said, I got very down and out of my confidence. Well, when I met my wife, um, all my friends that she would meet, um, they would always say, you know, Justin, when are you going to fight? Or what's it like dating a fighter? But she had never even seen me go to one training class. So she always, we, we, she would always kind of encourage me, hey, basically I walk around the house shadow boxing a lot, which is a really funny habit I have. But she would always tell me, you know, why don't you go train? And I'd be like, I don't want to train. I don't want to train. And she would say, 
basically she called me out for being in denial and said, you walk around the house and shadow box four hours a day. If you didn't want to train, you wouldn't be doing that. And so I started training slowly, gradually getting back into it, hoping that I was going to get the itch again to train. And after a week's worth of training, I did. I mean, I had the fire again. And with the way the sport's blowing up lately, I kind of have a, a, a pride. Uh, I guess you would say a sense of pride in knowing that I've trained since way before most people even knew what the UFC was. And so now to see guys with, you know, six months of training under their belt, having three professional wins, that kind of, I wouldn't say made me jealous, but it brought out the competitive edge in me to want to show, show what my skills are in comparison to theirs. I, I saw him, he showed me, you know, how he trained and everything. And I got to un look at um, other fighters and realize that, you know, mixed martial arts is a sport, and and really, it it just amazes me, the training and the commitment and the respect that the sport the fighters have for each other too. I I think that that elevates the sport to something that you know, certainly not a tough man contest. That it's skill and it's technique, and again, the respect that the fighters show for each other. Um, is, is just phenomenal to me. Even the, the first fight that he had when he broke that fella's nose, um, the, the guy was, you know, not mad at him at all. I mean, you know, and Justin was, was not apologetic, but, you know, I mean, they, they, not two weeks later, he told me, hey, you know, I was, I was at Rock Bar having a drink with Jeff. And, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it, I admire their commitment, but at the same time, their camaraderie and their, and their respect for one another, that they all want to excel and they understand that somebody has to lose in order for them, you know, to excel. Well, there was, I had mixed emotions on that. I wanted him to because he was always shadow boxing and doing this, you know, like around the house and... So I wanted him to get back into it, but at first it was a little bit overwhelming because he was gone all the time and, you know, with his job and having to get up in the morning and, and lift weights and then um, go to work, come back, train, and then he was just gone. It, it's, it's really, um, I didn't realize how much effort had to be put into the training and how much it really involved. So... I've had I've gone back and forth with it, but now seeing how happy it's made him and seeing how good he's doing, I've gotten a little bit more supportive and um, you know seeing that these little cuts and bumps that he gets heal and he's not gonna die because <laughs> at first you know you think oh Lord you know seeing watching that he had me watch UFC the very first fight and someone got kicked in the head and knocked out and. That's the scary thing. So I've I've worried about you know permanent damage <laughs> to his brain, and um, he's helped to reassure me that that he'll be okay. Um, my wife Lee and I got married in January of two thousand and nine. Um, we have to had to save up for our wedding. Um, our actual wedding will be July first, two thousand nine. Um, four days after the fight which granted the cut on my eye doesn't exactly help for pictures much, nor if I get beat up in the fight, that won't help either. But if anything, it'll be a memory. But we, again, have our, our beach wedding on uh, the, a beach in Cozumel, July 1st. Um, it will be my parents, um, her parents, and our daughter Hannah. Hannah's six years old. Um, she is actually my stepdaughter, but is as close to a daughter as I could ever possibly have. Um, I love her as if she were my own daughter and she calls me dad and I tell her, you know, I tell everybody she's my daughter. Um, we also have a baby on the way that is a little girl that is due in November. And so along with my wife, uh, my daughter and the baby on the way and the two female dogs we have, uh, pretty much live in a household full of women seven days a week, so you can imagine I'm outnumbered on any decisions or votes that ever take place. Yeah, the past is the past, you know? The past, that was it's a new day, bro. I'm gonna put it on My day. Line, you gotta do it now. Masters game.